Hi all, this is Samba from Naresh IT. In this video, I wanted to discuss with you what is AngularJS and why AngularJS. Just to see this one, first of all, AngularJS. What is AngularJS? AngularJS is a framework. What is the next point means? AngularJS is a client side javascript client side javascript framework what is the third point here means angular js follows mvc design pattern what is m m is a model javascript variables we can say we can say example i am saying one example here javascript variables we can say models in angular js but not only that one is simple example i am saying what is the example here means model m means model the next one is the v v means view we can use the html as the view html as the view in angular js the next one is the c C means controller. The JavaScript functions in Angular JS we can say controllers. The JavaScript functions. These are the base points for the Angular JS. What is the first point here means Angular JS is a framework. What is the second point here means Angular JS is a client side JavaScript framework. The third point is the Angular JS follows the mvc design pattern m means model the javascript variables we can say model in angular js v means view in angular js we will use the html as the view either html or html5 c means controller javascript functions we can use controllers in angular js fine next one is the what is the next point here means one of the very simple point here angular chase have a so many predefined modules as angular chase developer we can we can use we can use the modules we can use the modules here just see the some of the predefined modules here the framework itself have a so many predefined modules just to see the first module here, some examples I will tell. What are the examples here means? The first one is the ng root. The second one is the ui dot rotor. The third one is the ng messages. The fourth one is the ng animate. ng animate. The next one is the ng storage. Just to see this one, for example, what is ng root? ng root is a predefined module. Predefined module used to achieve the used to achieve the routing. Routing in a single pace applications. Single pace applications. And here also you know the predefined module will be there. The name of the predefined module is the ng root module here. What is ng root module means ng root module is the predefined module used to achieve the routing in single pace applications fine please try to go for the one more module also the next module is the ui dot rotor module ui dot rotor is a third party module third party module used to this module also used to used to achieve the routing in a single page applications but uh, coming to the ng route have the so many drawbacks to overcome that drawbacks only we have the one more module the name of the module is the ui dot rotor module here but uh, coming to ng route so many problems are there not problems we can't say problems here we can say limitations ng route module want to support the nested routings ng root module want to support the named views 
NG Roto module want to support the interceptors. So nowadays almost all the people they are depending on the one of the third party module, the name of the third party module is the UI data rotor module. Just see the issues once again here. This is not the issues here, we can say limitations. Limitations with the NG Rota. What are the limitations here means NG Rota won't support the nested routings. Next, next limitation. NG root won't supports the named views. Named views in a single page applications. Next one. NG root won't supports the interceptors. So nowadays almost all the people they are depending on the one more predefined module here, the name of the predefined third party module. One of the predefined third party module, the name of the module is the UI dot rotor module here. Fine. After completing the two modules, the first one is the NG rotor module, the next one is the UI dot rotor module. And here also one more predefined module is there. The name of the predefined module is the NG messages module. And here also one more module will be, module will be there, the name of the module is the ng messages module this module used to perform the client side form validations because of that reason only as a developer we need to be dependent on one more predefined module the name of the predefined module is the ng messages module fine please uh, try to go for the one more predefined module also ng storage this module used to work with the storages like uh, local storage like uh, local storage and a session storage we have the two types of storages the first one is the local storage the second one is the what is the second one here means the second one is the session storage here to work with the storages only we need to go for the one more predefined module here the name of the predefined model is the ng storage module here fine after completing that one and here also we have the one more predefined module here ng animate module we have the one more predefined module here the name of the model is the ng animate module used to develop the animations in a angular js applications so we need to dependent on one more predefined module the name of the predefined module is the ng animate module third point once again here angular js have a so many predefined modules otherwise we can say library results are not a problem we have the so many modules or libraries here as an angular js developer we can use the predefined modules what are the predefined modules here means so many modules are there the first one is the ng root module UI dot rotor module, ng messages module, ng animate module, ng storage module also. What is a ng root module? ng root module used to achieve the rotings in SPA. SPA means single phase application. Okay. Fine. What is the use of UI dot rotor module? UI dot rotor is a third party module this module also used to, to achieve the rotings in spa but why we need to go for the ui dot rotor why we need to go for the ui dot rotor means in the ng road we have the so many limitations what is the first limitation here means ng road won't support the nested routings ng road won't to support the named views in a single page application not only that one ng road won't support the interceptors so as an angular chess developer we need to, to dependent on one more third party module the name of the third party module is the ui dot rotor module fine after completing that one the next predefined module is the ng messages this module used to perform the client side form validations because of that reason only we need to go for the one more predefined module the name of the predefined module is the ng messages module fine the next predefined model is the ng storage module this module used to work with the storages work with the storages like 
the first one is the local storage the next one is the session storage here another the same term one more predefined module the name of the predefined module is the ng animate module this is a module used to develop the animations in order to develop the animations only we need to dependent on one more predefined module the name of the predefined module is the ng animate module fine this is the a little bit introduction about the angular js here after completing that one what is the next one here means why angular js but before going to why angular js i need to explain to you what is a client to server architecture but before going to that one before going to that one i need to explain to you what is client to server architecture this is this one this is the client to server architecture simple simple example i need to give client to server architecture what is a client to server architecture here means here we have the servers coming to client to server architecture we have the so many servers for example if we are the java developers if we are the java developers we may use the following servers here what are the servers we may use here means we may use the tomcat server the next server is the we may use the web logic server the next server is the we may use we may use the web sphere server another the same term sometimes we may use the that means based on the project based on the company we may use the jbas server or otherwise we may use the glass fish server also fine for example if we are the dot net developers we may use the one more dot net related server some ias server we may use fine if we are the php developer we may use the some jamp server or otherwise some vamp server here and here also we may use the one more server here jamp server or a vamp server also based on the technology based on the technology we may use the different different servers also based on the project also generally if we are the java developers we may use this type of servers if we were the dot net developer we may use this type of server if we are the php developer we may use this type of servers here in general in servers we will deploy the business components business components business components here whatever it may be like java means our struts our jsp our spring components anything anything we can deploy if it is a dot net we may deploy the some wcf services if it is a if it is a php we may deploy the some php files finally in servers we will deploy the business components fine just see this one for example here also client will be there and here also we have the client coming to the clients also what are the different examples for the clients google chrome browsers na client means browsers google chrome the next one is the uh, mozilla firefox the next one is the what is the next one here means different different clients are there our internet explorer the next one is the what is the next one here means our opera the next one is and here also and so many and netscape navigator and so many clients will be there so many clients will be there just to try to see this one client will send the request to the server server will bypass that request to the a particular business component what about the business component business component will take the request will process the request will generate the dynamic response after generating the dynamic response the business component will hand over the response to the server what about the server server will send the response to the client just see the flow once again what is the flow here means the client will send the request to the server what about the server server will take the request after taking the request here server will bypass that request to a particular business component what about the business component business component will take the request here after taking the request will process the request here after processing the request here it will generate the dynamic response here after generating the dynamic response the business component will hand over to server once again what about the server the server will send the response back to the client this is the i think uh, the normal uh, client side client server architecture this is one of the simple client server architecture here fine for example 
just to assume this funny care for example just to see the uh, some scenarios for example if uh, one lakh people if uh, one lakh uh, clients just assume hitted the server at a time any problem no no problem one lakh means very less number only no problem at all here for example just assume this one here if uh, one crore people hitted the server at a time if one crore if one crore people hitted the server at a time definitely some problems will be there if n number of people otherwise if a more number of people connected to the, connected to the server at a time definitely some problems will be there what are the problems i care means please say the some problems i care when we are getting the problems whenever more number of people connected to the server definitely some problems will be there what are the problems i care means the problems are the maybe a network traffic maybe a network traffic the next one is the what is the next one here means maybe a network traffic the next one is the sometimes server may down sometimes server may down sometimes the server may crash sometimes the server may crash here i think based on the situation sometimes the servers may down here sometimes the server may crash here another the same time sometimes we are getting the some delay responses also just to see the issues once again here for example if a more number of clients connected to the server at a time automatically some problems will be raised what are the problems means the first one is the network traffic here the next one is the server may down the next one is the we are getting the some delay responses also we may get the some delay responses also how to overcome these problems i wanted to overcome these problems here because the customers are increasing year by year day by day our customers are increasing here but we need to overcome these problems how to overcome these problems means we need to implement the uh, i don't want to implement the business components here i want to implement the same business components at the client side at the client side by using mvc by using what by using mvc i don't want to implement the business components at the server side i want to implement the business components at the client side by using mvc implementing the business components at a client side by using mvc what do you call means we can say angular js for example just see this one here if you implement the business components at the client side at the client side by using mvc by using mvc automatically what have happened in the sense automatically the burden will be reduced on the server automatically we are getting the very fast responses also automatically we are getting the fast responses also we can overcome these problems also that means the final conclusion point is why angular js means reduce the burden on the server how we can reduce we can implement the business components at the client side by using mvc automatically the burden will be reduced on the server whenever we reduce the burden on the server automatically we are getting the quick responses also that is called as the angular js that is called as the y angular js fine thank you thank you for watching this video